as long as I don't find anything at the routine inspection of your vehicle at the body shop. Well, looks like we're in the clear. He's not gonna find anything. The only evidence is some pictures of that jogger in my phone, which I haven't even looked at since the accident because my phone's in my car. <gasps> you brought him in here, you bastard! Rubbernecking is all I have! Get down there and clean up your mess! <laughs> Twas beauty killed the beast. Mr. Smith, how odd to see you here. Uh, have you inspected the car? Everywhere but under the driver's seat. I always say that for dessert. Nothing. Mr. Smith, I'm a proud man, but not too proud to admit when I'm beaten. I'm very proud of that. Goodbye forever, Mr. Smith. <gasps> My glass! Oh. Stan? I lied, Stan. Klaus didn't spell the wine. We both did. I had to tell you, because it's the truth. And if we ain't got no truth in this world, what do we have? Damn lies. You're not Stan. How'd you get Stan's phone? What else of Stan's do you have? Let's sell it all and split the dough. We're in this together. Don't you dare double cross me. Oh, just as I suspected, your crash was caused by rubbernecking. Mr. Smith, you're under arrest for insurance fraud. Oh my God, what happened? I was checking out a hot chick in a newscopter. See? He told the truth, and everyone's the better for it. I'd like to purchase some life insurance. Are you a smoker? Only when I drink. <sighs> Steve, why isn't your mother here? She's hurt, Dad. She's so upset about your rubbernecking, she's not even coming to your trial. And I gotta say, I don't blame her. It's time to wake up, Stan. It's time to stand up and be a man. Be the husband that you told her you were gonna be forever. But I can't see what's wrong with you. You got a wife, a hot one too. But if you keep on looking, you won't end up together. Oh my God, is she not? Hot enough for your dad. I can't believe that you can't see those lips, hips, and face. Bodies all over the place. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's my mama. Mm, damn, if that wasn't my mama. Stan, you know it's not fair. Why are you looking at some other hoe when she's got the milky breasts and silky hair? Helen Keller, open your eyes. You got the perfect wife. The time inside her with the best damn nine months of my life. Is she not hot enough for you, Dad? Oh, my God, oh, my God. Now I'm thinking maybe she's just too hot for someone as blind as you. Steve, seriously, this isn't a great place not to be wearing a shirt. Let him sing! Mm -hmm. 